AITA for ignoring my soon-to-be stepmom when she kept calling me by the wrong name. Samai. F16. Name is Andy just Andy. My mom's dad passed away just a few days before she found out she was pregnant. My mom was very close with her dad and his name was Andrew. Also went by Andy. The technical female version of Andrew is Andrea but neither my mom nor dad liked the name but my mom wanted to honor her dad in some way so I got named Andy. Which I love my name I think it fits me. My parents got divorced when I was 8 and I live with my mom most of the time but visit my dad every other weekend. As well as holidays. Three years ago my dad started dating his now fiancé Kate. Kate for some reason when we met assumed my name was Andrea. I explained to her it was just Andy. She kept calling me Andrea though. I ended up telling my mom about it and she told me just to ignore Kate until she calls me Andy. Well, this past weekend I was at my dad's and we were visiting some of Kate's family. Well, she kept calling over for Andrea and of course, I ignored her. She got mad and said why am I ignoring her and I said because that's not my name and you know this. Her dad and brother basically laughed saying they thought I just went by Andy as a nickname and I said no it's just Andy. They then asked Kate why has she been calling me Andrea then. Well, Kate later got made calling me a brat for embarrassing her. She went on to say I knew who she was talking about and that I should have just gone with it but I was being an A.H. I honestly kind of feel like in that instance I should have just answered to Andrea but I don't know. A.I.T.A. N.T.A. Also why is your dad not correcting her? N.T.A. Your dad is an asshole for letting his soon-to-be wife disrespect his daughter like that. I mean is there a bigger red flag than not bothering to learn the name of your partner's kid? NTA she's known you long enough to know your bloody name and use it. NTA she is being a passive aggressive aw. Ah. Calling someone by the name they prefer should be easy. Especially when it's actually their name. She embarrassed herself. Keep sticking up for yourself. NTA. NTA maybe now she will remember your name. NTA. Keep ignoring her unless she uses your actual name. What does your dad say about all this? I find it odd that he hasn't spoken up about Kate literally misnaming his child. I actually highly discourage you from doing this. But you could always start calling Kate Caitlin or Catherine or any other name that normally gets. The nickname Kate. This is super petty and would bring you down to her level. So don't do it. NTA but where in the FCK is your father in this? So happy for you that her own family called her out. But seriously where is your father? He's just letting his GF disrespect his daughter? Like even if your name was Andrea and you still preferred Andy. Then that's all the information anyone needs. Anything else is just purposely being terrible and difficult. Also I would have been so petty and called her Katrina or Kathy or something else every time she said the wrong name until she got the point. NTA. Just start calling her Kathy whenever she does it. NTA. I'll even go out on a limb and guess that Kate is actually a nickname for your dad's fiance and not her legal name. If this is true. Then the irony of the situation has Kate going to 11 on the awe scale. She prefers to be called by a nickname. But for you. For some awe passive aggressive. Doomba dollar dollar reason. She insists on calling you by what she thinks is your legal name. And she's wrong about that. So. For hypocrisy's sake. She wants to be called a nickname. Meaning she wants people to respect the right to someone to pick their own name but for some reason, has decided that you don't have that right? And then Kate, or maybe I should call her Catherine, gets mad because you didn't engage in her stupidity? Maintain your policy of not answering to someone else's name.
If Kate has a problem, start calling her by her legal name until she pulls her head out to look for a clue. NTA. Years ago I had a classmate, American in America, whose name was Roison, which is I believe Gaelic for little Rose pronounced Rasheen. Our professor insisted on calling her Rosine. She corrected him multiple times but he'd say he was right and keep doing it. We all started calling him Ron instead of Ron and told him he was wrong when he complained. Your name is your name if she cared about you she'd get it right. NTA. Learning your actual name is the lowest freaking bar. Have you asked your dad to step in about this? NTA. Would she answer if you called her Susan? NTA. She embarrassed herself and is lashing out on you for it. NTA but Cotty sure is. Two can play that game. She's an adult and should know better to treat you with respect. NTA. Your name is Andy. Why would you answer to another name? You should show Catherine this post. NTA. I think this tells us a lot about Kate. Unfortunately, if I was meeting a partner's child, parent, sibling, I'd make damn sure I got their name right. It's about respect. Sounds like she's trying to push some boundaries here. NTA you've discussed it with her. You gave her notice. She f ked around and found out. She disrespected you by not even learning your name. And she wants to cry disrespect? NTA even if your name had technically been Andrea. She would still be in the wrong for not calling you your preferred name. That your name actually is Andy. Not Andrea makes it even worse and since she had been corrected before she has no right to claim ignorance. Any embarrassment resulting from her assumptions and insistence on calling you Andrea is entirely her fault. Oh no! You actually had the nerve to say that she deliberately got your name wrong when she checks notes. Deliberately got your name wrong. NTA if you don't like how something makes you look don't do it. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.